So we're in the middle of the woods. And we've just seen a guy with, with a parrot. <laughs> What's his name? Cairo. Cairo? Yeah. He's beautiful. He's really pretty. Hello and welcome to another episode with Budgie. Nice to see you. I hope you're well. Right, so from the thumbnail, you're probably wondering why I'm in a frosty field. And the uh, video is about a summer thing we did in the boat. Let me explain. So, in the summer, we went up to, we went down to Swanage, and we were going to do an overnight camp on the on the beach. We took the boat, and we was going to take the Ringos, and we we're going to do a bit of Ringoing, and we was going to have a campfire and camp out on the beach. Anyway, halfway through the day. I flipped the boat upside down, towing my brother on the Ringo. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to roll some clips back from the summer and it's going to set the scene of what we were doing on that, on that particular day. So take a look at this and I'll get back to you when you've finished watching what we did in the summer. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Now, as you can see, I'm down the beach. So this is my brother Lawrence. He's doing a video here for his own channel, but he's kindly let me use the footage for this video because I actually lost my GoPro in the sea with all the footage of this day on it, so I couldn't use it. He's basically setting the scene for the day. This weekend in the UK, we've got some absolutely gorgeous weather due, so we've decided to come down and we have a little camp on the beach. Now, it's Saturday morning. We've got up at 4.30 this morning. We've driven down and we found a lovely little spot on the beach just over there where my brother is away from the water and we're going to have a little camp overnight with a campfire and some lo lovely food which I'll obviously show you and also we've got the boat here with us and we're going to get out on the boat and have a bit of fun on the Ringos. Right so this is a spot that we've chosen to camp for the night as I said it's up a little bit away from the water so if the tide does come in we've got a nice gap between us and the water so we're not going to get wet toes during the night. This is the spot we've chosen to camp in We've only just arrived, so we've not set up yet, but we're going to have the tent over there. We're going to have a little fire pit in the middle, which conveniently for us, there's lots of these nice big white rocks around. So I'm going to make a nice little fire pit just in the middle here uh, so that we can uh, do some cooking. We've got our cool box over there that my brother sat on with all our food in. So let's go ahead and start getting this campsite set up. Right then, Harley, what I want you to do for me, it's your job. I want you to go and get as many of those white rocks as you can. Right. <laughs> That's your job for the... For now. Bigger the better. Bigger the better, yeah. Mm. Right, so we've got our little pile of rocks. So we've got the nice bit that we've already scraped out. So me and Harley and I are going to take these and put them around the edge and that'll help contain our fire. So we're going to start lining them around the edge like this. Oh, that's going to be a good little fire pit, I think, we're going to make. Oh, we might have to go and get a few more, I think. Make that a bit rounder as well. Alright, so there's our little fire pit. Almost done. Just got to get a few more bigger rocks to go around the outside. We've gone for smaller ones around the inside. And we finished it off around the outer side with some bigger ones. Gone and we found some nice kindling. This is all over the beach. It's kind of dry kindling. So that's going to be absolutely perfect. We brought some logs with us on the boat today to actually burn. But uh, yeah, so there's plenty of kindling around, so that's brilliant. And the fire pit's almost done. It's looking good, isn't it, Harley? Yeah. I'm really pleased, really pleased with the way that looks. Hopefully them jacket potatoes we're going to be cooking that later will be absolutely lovely. Right, it's absolutely roasting already. So what we've finished our fire pit now. We're really happy with how that looks. So me and Harley, we're going to go and have a little swim. Let's go, Harley, come on. Oh, there's the boat, look. So at this point, we've set up on the beach and we had no idea the tragedy that was to come with this boat. There it is. We're going to have some fun on that later, aren't we, Harley? Yeah. Are you going to go on the ring, guys? Oh, I'll have a go. Are you going to have a go? Yeah. Damn right we are. Here we go then. Go on there, straight in, boys. Go on. I'll have to take my little flip-flops off and leave them here. But here we go. We're going for it. Oh! It's not coal, it's the stones. Go on then, Ali, straight in, straight in. Oh. Oh. oh, that's 
refreshing. That's refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I probably got all snot rubber mouth, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And we're camped just up there. Absolutely stunning little beach we found. It's quite busy today though, as I said. Got a lot of uh, good weather planned for this weekend, so. Holy. <laughs> Right, so our mate John's turned up now, so my brother's shot across over to Swanage Beach to go and collect him in the boat. They're back now, and he's brought his paddleboard with him. Now, my brother's been desperate to get out on a paddleboard for a couple of weeks now. He's never tried one, so he's having his first go on it, so I'm going to film him and show him how he gets on, because I don't think he's going to do very well, and I think he's going to end up in the drink. So let's have a look how he does. Here he is then, look. Here he is then, look. Trying to get on it. First time for everything, eh? Oh, Ali's pushing him out. Come on then, how does it feel? Wobbly. Wobbly, you think you're gonna, come on, try to stand up? You're gonna get, no, come on, give us, yet. come on, give it a go. Oh, he's doing better than I thought he would. I thought he'd be in by now. <laughs> right, here we go then. He's gonna have a go at standing up. As you can see, see already, as you can see already, he's already wet, so he's already tried it and he's been in once already. <laughs> and quite frankly, he face planted the board. And see, he's belly flopped the water too, like five times. <laughs> paddle then, you got a paddle mate. You got a paddle, come on. I'm sure if you paddle it, it makes it more stable. Oh, I think <laughs> so we've been on out, out on the paddleboard and what did you leave in your pocket so this was the first catastrophe of the day the first loss i had to go all weekend with no vape can't believe it what did you forget to take out your pocket he left his vape in his pocket he's gonna 24 hours out here look. with no vape now look if you can see that it's still on I don't think it's going to work though. <laughs> He's going to be gutted with that later around that fire. No, that's finished. No, that's the end of that. <laughs> fuming he is, fuming. Oh. <laughs> right, so we got Harley out in it now. We're going to give him a go. Jamie's had a good. Did you enjoy that, Jamie? Yeah. yeah. There were so many jumps and bumps. I felt like I was going to fall off. And I was also going like that, and then I was flinging it up in the air. Oh, that's good then. Right, it's so... Like I was going to up back, back. So I'm going to give Harley a go in it now then. See if we, see if we can tip him out. <laughs> Probably not. We're not doing great for the speed, but... We'll give it a go. So you're joining us now. We're in the boat. We've got Harley in the ring boat. If you look at me... You can see that I've got my hat in my hand. There you go, I'm cleaning my camera. So I had my camera with me at this point. Little do we know, later on it was to be lost in the Davy Jones' locker. We had too much weight in the boat, so I've a jet and jettisoned myself. <laughs> there they go, look. Hopefully without my fat ass in the boat, they might get a bit more of a go at it. <laughs> so as you can see, my brother here has just ejected himself from the boat. Now, we couldn't get the boat up on the plane, and we thought that we had too much weight in the boat for the small engine that we had. So he jumped out to try and 
lighten the load so we could get the boat up on the plane and get a bit more speed up and it would be a bit more fun for the children in the ring. But little did we know that the trim pin on the engine had come loose and had worked its way out and the engine had actually dropped down into the lowest position and it was forcing the front of the boat down into the water and not up onto the plane. Here we go then. It's my turn, I'm in the Ringo. We've got just Jamie in the boat, so hopefully we'll be a bit quicker. We're gonna get out past all the uh, the boats parked up first before we can really rip it. So here we go. Get it back a bit! So this was the moment where my brother switched the camera off and this was the last bit of footage we had from that day and in the next five minutes the accident happened and the boat was upside down. Right, it's pretty cold out there. We're back in the camper van now. We're in, we're in the back of the camper van. We ain't got the heating on so it's still really cold. It's like minus four today. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of footage. So let, let me explain. After that last clip where you saw my brother in the Ringo, I literally took the boat out to sea, I don't know, uh, a few hundred metres past the, the, uh, the boats, so we could do a bit of Ringo in. Anyway, I couldn't get him up on the plane because there was something wrong with the boat. Um, later on, I realised that the trim pin on, on the engine had come out. It hadn't, hadn't come out, out, but it was out enough. And the, the boat engine was in the lowest position. And that's why I couldn't get the boat up on the plane. But at the time, I didn't know that. Right, so Har Harley was on the beach. And he, he didn't actually see the accident. But t tell him what you saw. So, I was in the water. And then... John, Dad's mate, is just shouting. The boat's flipped upside down. The boat's flipped upside down. Come and see. And I just looked out, and there it was upside down. So what I was trying to do was, my brother was here in the Ringo, and I was here on the boat. The rope was tight. Couldn't get him up on the plane. So I, I went back on myself, back towards him, picked up speed with no tension on the line, and I was hoping to snatch him up out of the water on my way past. And then as, as I come back past him, the line tightened and the boat flipped upside down. It was like the brakes went on, the boat completely threw me out into the water. I was stuck underneath the boat. So <laughs> there's, there's a boat upside down, me stuck underneath it. And my brother at this point got out of the Ringo to come and see if I was all right because I was trapped under the boat. But anyway, I managed to swim out from under the boat. The boat's upside down. The engine is in the salt water upside down. Obviously, I had the kill cord on, so the, uh, the engine had shut itself down. And the engine started filling up the water. Anyway, we got the boat back onto the right side. Some kind jet skiers were close by. And they come and helped us flip the boat back onto the correct side. And I went to pull the engine to try and start it. And it was hydro locked, water had got in and there was, I couldn't pull it. So we had to row back in. Basically, to cut a long story short, the engine was pretty much finished. It got waterlogged with salt water. I took it to a marine shop to get it looked at. The guy said it was no good. And basically, I sold the engine for scrap. Um, now, the guy that I sold the engine to, he did actually manage to get it going again. So I was on a bit of a loss with the engine, financially. So we are at a place now where we don't have a, an engine for the, for the boat. So we're gonna try and source another engine or maybe another whole complete setup, I don't know. Depends what funds are like. Cause obviously we're right on top of Christmas now. I ain't gonna be buying anything soon because we've got Christmas to pay for. Um, but after Christmas in the new year, I'm going to really hope to try and find something, whether it be another engine or another engine and a boat package, I don't know. It'd be nice to get something, to be honest, on a trailer with some kind of steering console. 
Yeah. It's just nicer. I mean, we went out on my friend's uh, boat the other day, John, his boat, and we had a whale of a time. And I'll tell you, it's so much nicer with a steering wheel than it is sat holding that tiller. Because mm. uh, when you're sat at a funny angle with that tiller, it's not very comfortable. So after the boat got turned upside down, I am happy to report that we, we did actually have a really good weekend in the end. Um, unfortunately, because we turned the boat upside down, everyone's mood was really down. I wish, I wish to God that we had filmed the boat upside down. I didn't get any footage of the boat upside down. My brother had a camera in his hand, but we were so concerned about getting the boat back on the right side, we just forgot to press record. So we didn't have any footage of the boat upside down, which would have been great for you guys to watch, I know. Um, but we did have a great weekend oh. after we got back into and shore. You lost your GoPro. Oh yeah, the GoPro I had on my hat. As, as I got flipped out of the boat, the water flicked the hat off my head and the GoPro with the hat is sunk. sunk to the bottom of the sea. So I lost all the footage that I had. And that's Off why I didn't den. ever make a video of it. So not only did I lose the GoPro, damaged the engine. I also, not this one, this is a new one, a waterproof one. But I had this in my pocket as well. And it got damaged as well. So I lost the GoPro, the boat engine and my vape all in one one split moment so it was an expensive bloody day out so we was trapped at um swanage beach my car was parked at pool in pool key at beta park and we we had no boat to get us back round to the to the uh, slipway so what we had to do, we had to walk the boat all the way along Swanage Beach, probably about a half a mile, actually, to be fair. John and my brother pulled the boat back through the water, just on the water's edge, all the way around the beach, back to the slipway at Swanage. And then John, luckily, he had parked in Swanage, so he got his van and he took me back to pool i picked my van up went back to swanage packed my boat away and then we managed to get home so that's what's happened this summer we ended up damaging the boat well the engine and um we are looking to get something else for the new year hopefully back on the water again for the summer we have got a couple of paddle boards now haven't we yeah i bought one you bought one didn't you we got a couple of paddle boards so we can get back out on the water but it's not the same as having the boat. No. Um, so we are going to leave this video here. Just want to say thanks for watching and bearing, bearing with me for all this stupid story. But I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. Is Maybe you were wondering why we didn't have many boat videos out towards the end of the boat season. Now you know why. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe like the video because that helps with the youtube algorithms and everything and um my videos get promoted more if you press that like button you don't have to but it'd be nice if you could um yeah so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time you come along for a ride with budgie take care bye bye